What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the Box Clinic and more. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people forget we just not a boxing channel, man. We do more than boxing, do more than sports. We tackle some current events in the world, some little bit of politics every now and again. And now, you know, we tackle some uh some things that young people need to know. We do all types of stuff across the board. Don't forget, we got the new channel popping, a new tech channel. Show you how to jailbreak Fire Stick, Android boxes, everything you need to know. Update Cody. A lot of different stuff coming to the channel. We got a few videos already on there that should definitely cut the cost and help you, uh, you know, move forward. Also, if you want to donate, because we got a live show coming, we got some breaking news coming. I'm, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it be known tonight. So check out uh, some video. I'm gonna drop it on. So this should be very exciting and very um, good news. And also the Facebook page. You wanna uh, like it? All those links in the description. Um, but you know, four things every team coming into the real world should know. And a lot of people out here, a lot of teens don't come from a structured household. You know, may it be poverty, may it be even in, you know, rich communities where they don't need to know this. But it's always good to know in this, uh, you know, in this world and, you know, this world financially, things can go south real quick. And, um, you know, some people might come from a good, you know, background, but parents don't have time. You got parents that's working two, three jobs, support a whole family. And there's certain things that I'm finding that young people don't know. And some things I didn't know when I was coming up, but, you know, I had a lot of mentorship programs. And that's something that I'm hoping to start uh, the next calendar year with my homie, a mentorship program. And maybe we can give y'all some some uh, some video of that once I partner, uh, you know, with some people and, and get it moving. But, um, but yeah, man, you know, one thing, uh, you know, coming to the real world, when I got my first check, even though I still was in high school, I was wanting to buy things that I never could buy on my own and I really, really wanted, but... Maybe my parents can afford it or whatever. I didn't never get it. So, you know, you get your first check, your first few checks. You want to go buy a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, you really, really want. Not even necessarily that you need, you know, makes Jordans, video games. It depends on what you win. And that's cool. But at some point, you got to know that when you get those things, those things are not always, um, you know, you know, good, good at all. You know, they're never what you, uh, you know, seem it to be. You know, when you get them, you like, yeah, you know, it's fun at first, but you know, they seem they they seamlessly wear off. You know, um, and I don't even use that no more. I don't even wear them no more, man. I bought them for no reason. You get you get seeing a pattern of dumb spending habits, and it does happen. So it's always important. So when you get that first job, even if you only save a dollar per week or a dollar per paycheck, that's better than anything. Saving as much money as possible, just in case. You know. No matter if you're paying bills or, or whatever it may be, it's always room for saving. And saving at an early age is very, very key. Even if you got to go to a financial institution to save your money and take your money out and, and, and put them into CDs or put them into, you know, an annuity, whatever you want to do. That's very, very key that you get them somebody that can that can show you how to invest your money early. And you might run into something like Bitcoin or, or some of these other, you know, good stocks that you can buy. And being financial, uh, financially aware and smart is number one. Once you start entering the real world, world, you still can be in high school and enter the real world because you know a lot of kids now, you know, got driver's license at sixteen, and now they got jobs at sixteen. So you might as well put that money up because you never know what can happen. You know, you might need some money saved when you go to college. You can't work and go to school. You might go out of state, and I ran into that issue as well, which is another video for another day. But um. Uh, Save your money early. That's very, very key, you know, and that can take you out of a, a whole bunch of different situations. Trust me. Now, partying, you know, partying is cool. Now, if you go to college and, you know, uh, you know, you party, that's cool, but don't overindulge in it. I'm not getting at that in particular, because if you don't enjoy your college experience, you rob yourself of paying all that money or scholarship that you want. So you enjoy you need to enjoy yourself in college and not get too stressed out by the books. But uh, some people needs to get in, in a groove first. But partying man be going to every party i'm trying to tell you it's not really what it seems to be you know you've been to you know a few parties you've been to them all you know you're not missing nothing out you know taking your last couple dollars going to a party partying and you know trying to get chicks that's cool and all i mean you can go get a chick just going up to your local college community college and pull a chick there if that's your whole you know that's your whole aim and your whole angle on you know going to parties is to pull chicks you can pull chicks anywhere this ain't 1965 or 1970 no more you know what I'm saying? You know, if you want to, you know, relax and have a good time, that's cool as well. But you got to look at your spending habits and what position you are in. And I fell into that trap 19, you know, 18, 19, 20 when I got out of, you know, high school and then, you know, in college as well. But definitely when I was done with college and, you know, before I went, I got into that trap as well. You know, um, 
you know, partying, you know, partying on a budget. And I learned that, you know, it was the same stuff. And I learned early by 22, 23, I stopped partying. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ain't missing out on nothing. For sure, you're not missing out on nothing. You know, the people that party and have a good time is the people who got their money together and go to upscale parties like 25 and up. So that's where the party life really, really kicks in as well. And it's more elegant. It's more tasteful as well. And also, uh, you know, financially, you're more stable. You know what I'm saying? And trust me, for people who like to party, going to clubs, definitely not it. If you want to uh, get the skins, going to the bar is where you want to go to. You know, the bar is way better. It's free. <laughs> you're going to save a lot more money. Um, working hard. You know, this goes hand in, hand in hand with partying. Working hard. You know, work hard. Don't be. Don't worry about, you know, your friends out and partying and stuff of that nature. We'll get into that in a minute. Grind, 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 grind. If you got to study, you got to work extra hours. They don't give you Saturday and Sundays off or whatever. And your friends party on the weekend, make it feel like you live uh, being left out. Don't worry about it. You're not being left out. Grind, earn that money, work towards a degree. Trust me, the party going to be there when you're done. You know, when you wake your work your way up, the seniority ladder at work, trust me, you eventually get Saturdays and Sundays off when you need be. And then when you start going out, you're gonna be like, man, I'd rather be at work and making money. Trust me on that. And this goes hands in hand with the last two. Your friends. If your boys ain't on your or your friends, boys, the girls ain't on the same track as you, and they not on the paper chase and they can't understand why you grinding at work and they can't support you. And you know, y'all can't come up with good ideas to do things that's um, you know, putting y'all in the right direction. You know, all they do is want to come through, smoke weed, and, and bring you down, and you know, penny pinch off of you and ask you for money. Do ain't your boys, man. Let go of those loose, them loose, them loose leaf friends, man. The friends that just blowing the wind that really ain't friends, that really ain't on your level. Even though y'all might, you know, been ten toes ten toes down since y'all was kids together, people grow apart. And if your friends ain't on your sa- ain't on the same page you is, and they ain't want to do right, why you want to rub shoulders with a criminal? Why you want to rub shoulders with a weed head? You know. You can love and you can love and have love. You can have love for people from a distance. You know, I you know that's my man's. I got a lot of friends like that. My man's if something happened, I got your back. But you know, uh, you know, as far as us hanging out on a daily basis, no, nah, that can't be because we're not on the same level. And you know, hang around people that ain't on your same level that's doing wrong can put you in, you know, in a position to you know possibly lose your life or you know go to jail for a long time. So these just random four things that I chopped up that uh you know every team coming to the real world to so know. Comment if you got some more. Or whatever it may be, we gone.